You too. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Hope everybody's been well. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, this week, wanted to take off into a different direction here. You know, usually we're out, we're taking photos, we're hanging out. Um, it's all about the process a lot of times. Um, I guess this is about the process. I wanted to talk a bit about my book, um, We Are All Flowers Under the Sun, but more so the proof making process. Just got my proof back, and if you've made a photo book before, or you are in the process of making one, or potentially want to make one, the proof is the moment that everything is starting to finally feel like it's done, like it's come together. This is essentially your first copy of the book that the printer will send you just to kind of basically sign off on. This is your last chance to take a look at any mistakes any errors, any changes, any details, any tweaks, here's your chance before we print out the whole batch, right? So mine came in, and since we're, we're, where are we? We are not upstate New York. We are out in the middle of Massachusetts. I had, I blanked for a second because New Hampshire is literally, I think like two minutes that way, and we're on the edge of New Hampshire and Massachusetts, so I got confused. But we're out here. I brought the book. I thought it'd be nice to take a look at it while we're here just to soak it in, relax, see what pages I'm noticing any mistakes. And lo and behold, I found some. So when you're in this process, slow down. There is an, there's a temptation to just ready to get the books out. But I caught a couple errors, a couple font errors, a couple typos. Um, so a couple photos needed some detail tweaks. I felt like the sharpening needed to kind of be dialed in a little bit on a couple because one thing, while your photos may look super sharp on screen in digital form, um, when you take it to print and you put it on paper, sometimes they'll lose some of that sharpness. So again, take a look, be patient, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the proof and also just give you guys a little bit have a preview of what's inside the book. You know, it's something I'm really proud of, something that I designed myself, put together myself. And, you know, it's it's a it's a labor of love and I'm proud of it. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. This video is darkroom printing and it's a segue into some darkroom printing that I did for this book in particular, but also darkroom printing as a whole as just a concept and just as a process that I have essentially added into my photography flow. I started darkroom printing three months ago. Me and Kyle decided to take a class uh, in Brooklyn. And uh, we fell in love literally, I think, in the first hour of class. Um, <laughs> after we were figuring out the projector, I mean, the enlarger, not the projector, kind of a projector. But anyway, the enlarger, the lens, all the little details that you have to understand to actually physically make it. Once you get through how to do everything, how to work in the dark, the process of making darkroom prints is so much fun, um, especially going in there with a friend 
so collaborative. You get really hands on with photos that maybe speak to you. Uh, maybe you're doing it for a job, but whatever the case may be, you really start to find unique colors by obviously darkroom printing because you're producing colors in a way that no where else you can do that right it's not scanning through a noritsu or a frontier if you're using film or it's not a digital sensor you're projecting it on a piece of paper in the dark and the finished result of the photo is absolutely magnificent what you get out of the photo is it's, it's quite breathtaking especially portraiture work when you decide to dark room print it just adds a sense of lifeness and texture to the photos it's kind of undescribable for sure but i wanted to talk a little bit about dark room printing because i've just fallen in love with the process so much and i just wanted to share with everyone else because i think it's probably worth exploring if you shoot a lot of film if you like being tactile if you like getting hands-on and touching things and you want to be more involved in your process it's worth learning about you know i i came across this through willem's episode and next thing you know, Kyle's like, hey, there's a lab in the neighborhood. Let's take some classes. Next thing you know, we're darkroom printing now. Speaking of which, yo, Kyle, when are you trying to go back, bro? Um, anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the book since it is pretty much here. And I think as of today, I think we're going to print today. Um, so we're done. and It would be nice to talk about. So. That's all I wanted to say, guys. I'll see you guys next episode.